good day wherever you might be. Thanks for tuning in to the Data Gaps Data Ops video. Today we'll be focusing on data quality monitoring. Your organizations, like many others, probably spend a large amount of money collecting, moving, transforming, managing, and performing data analytics to drive informed decisions. The business that we are in is to help you make those decisions based upon high quality, trusted data assets. One of the many ways that we do that is through our data ops suite of products, one of which is data quality monitoring. Data quality monitoring provides two means to help you keep on top of the quality of your precious data assets. One way is through observability of the data values during ingestion. As the data comes into your enterprise, we learn about the data over a period of time. We figure out what does it nominally look like by learning the upper and lower boundaries of the data elements through an AI algorithm. And then when data that is being ingested falls outside of these boundaries, we flag that as an anomaly for you to inve investigate further. The other means by which we monitor the quality of your data is by scoring the data at rest in your enterprise. Through this scoring, you can observe the scores and determine if the quality is diminishing and through the tool set, drill down to find the root cause. Let me talk through scoring first, and then I'll show you a quick demo to illustrate the point. In this particular example that we're showing you here, there are a number of scores at the domain level, marketing, sales, finance, claims. As you can see, marketing has a low score of 71. We'll bring that into the demo and drill into that to see a little bit more detail. So a data quality score is nothing more than a metric that is derived from your data element rules. Each data element can have anywhere from zero rules to as many as you need. The scores roll up from the data element to the table, to the domain, to the warehouse, and then finally to the enterprise. These rules are captured based upon the following categories, completeness, accuracy, conformity, unicity, timeliness, validity. So you can view the scores based upon the data elements and domains or the categories that we just mentioned. So let's take a closer look at what this actually looks like. So this is what the data ops suite home screen looks like. It provides you with a number of things that you can do. You can identify what sources you have available to you. You can go into data quality, which we'll be doing today. We'll do, you can go into data comparison and, and have component-based data flows and a, a variety of other things that you can do. But what we're gonna do is look into our data quality scores for the enterprise and then drill down to see if there are any issues with the score. So immediately when we go into data quality, we see that the data quality score for the enterprise is at 77.52. A pretty low score, especially when it was up over 90 uh, a few days back. But since then, what we've done is we've modified some of the ETL processes and we've also written some additional data quality rules um, because we wanted more insight into what, um, where the data quality issues were within our enterprise. So let me drill into the data quality score. And this takes you to a data quality dashboard that shows us our data quality score based upon um, some models. So we have a marketing domain, we have an e-commerce domain. And in this particular case, it looks like the marketing domain is the one that is causing the, the majority of the issue. It's at scores at 56.16. The number of rules associated with that, we have three rules that make up that particular score. So let's drill a little bit further into the marketing and take a look at what tables might be causing the problem. And again, the promotions table within the marketing domain um, seems to be the issue with a score of 45.89. And again, has three data quality rules written against the promotions table. So let's drill further. 
And we can very quickly see that, okay, there's a problem with the promotion begin date data quality rule. So it has a score of 33.40, and we need to look at that a little bit further, but also notice it just has one rule. So there's pretty easy to figure out what's going on. It is a um, SQL query rule. So let's take a look at the rule itself to make sure that we've um, written the rule. It's been um, written properly. So select star from promotions where promo end date is greater than promo begin date. So it looks like the rule has been formed properly. So let's take a look at the sample rows uh, of the data and see if we can figure out from that, well, it, it becomes pretty clear very quickly that some of the begin dates, okay, start after the end date. So there's something improper in our data ingestion. Maybe we did something during, during the ETL process that when we change some of the ETL process that caused um, this anomaly. So what we would do is go back to the ETL process, take a look at the data, investigate it there further. But it's a very quick way to understand the, the scoring of your data at the enterprise level all the way down to the data element. And pinpoint quickly those issues that might pop up based upon um, something that happening downstream that you didn't anticipate impacting um, the scores of your data in your enterprise. So hopefully you've enjoyed this quick presentation of data quality monitoring and hope you'll come back and, and see some of our other capabilities. Thank you now.